Hey everybody, it's Ray, it's Life and Vibe, and I think the IRS could be potentially following up with Sarasota Tim and his PPP loans, as well as uh, the EIDL loan through the Small Business Administration. I found a very interesting uh, piece of information today, and it's not the news clip that everybody else has been showing, but something else instead. So let me just get out all my fair years. Uh, because I will be using from other creators and I'll make sure with the creator who I do put uh, the TikTok on, uh, I will make sure to link that down below. But uh, obviously, um, this is just uh, for entertainment purposes only. So back a while back ago, and Sarasota Tim has since deleted uh, this video, he was talking about the way he was able to obtain from the US taxpayers through PPP loans and through EIDL, but we're going to focus just today on the PPP part, that he was able to get all sorts of money from these folks. So let's hear what Tim had to say first. You guys might have heard of PPP money, uh, SBA, Small Business Administration, uh, government. Some were grants that, you know, for their penance for shutting us down, that were basically replacing my my income that I was making. But remember, I never made much, so those weren't very big. Uh, some people got millions, you know, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands. I got a couple of thousand dollars it twice. Did. I could have got three, but I missed out on one because, I don't know, it's another story. And those were forgiven because that was the government saying, we're sorry. We, sh we shut you down, our bad, here's you some money to hold you over so you're not on the streets. Well, and then they came up with that unemployment. Do you guys remember the $600 a week that people were getting and they didn't want to work because they were making more money on unemployment? Here's one. I was making about the same, but gig workers, self-employed people, you can't get unemployment. You can only get unemployment if you work for someone and you're laid off, not if you're fired or you quit. But if you do work for someone, you can get unemployment and it's never really ever amounted to much. You know, I would never want to collect it because I'd have to go back to work right away because uh, that wasn't enough to pay my bills. What a good Christian man we got over here with Mr. Tim Hay. Oh, just making sure that, you know, he could get all that fraudulent uh, unemployment and money. Well, let's listen to a tax expert uh, who goes by the name of Simple. Uh, this was on a site called Simple Doc T. And it's called PP Loan Fraud Arrest Investigations Leading to Jail Time and Big Fines. And he obviously was not payment protecting employees with income. He will listen to him a little bit later on. And if you haven't had a chance to check Darling's video goes, breaks it down. But this was what I found really interesting. And this was just released about five months ago. And so for him to even get that $5,800, that seemed like a lot of money, which is the amount that he got in total. And he would have taken more had he had the opportunity, because he's a very he's a very good Christian. So I'm going to share this young lady instead, and we're going to listen to what she says. We're going to break this up, obviously, for fair use. Doc T here. I had to pop on here really, really quick, just to kind of give an update on the PPP loan fraud 2024. In case anyone is not familiar with what is going on now in this current year, not that it didn't start before now, but in 2024, I kept telling people, be mindful of the pushback date for filing your taxes, right? And I believe people thought maybe, oh, that's just the IRS is doing, you know, blah, blah, blah. No. So understand this. A lot of times when the IRS push dates back, uh, it's, a lot of it is because they got some contingency plans put in place to do something that is going to impact taxpayers greatly or is going to change the trajectory of the revenue that they're going to pull in. Okay. 
Mm, interesting. So I have always had questions about how Tim has been handling his taxes. It seemed uh, interesting that he decided to take himself out west for an extended period of time. I wonder what he's using as a home address since he's living at various RV parks. Who's his home address? Uh, we don't know. We don't know where he states his home address is currently. I don't think the Flagstaff, whatever cheap RV park in Florida is, is a legitimate address. Okay, for that season. Now, going back to the PPP loans, it is so important to know. I have literally county in county, seven clients right now, right, that have come for and applied for things like refund advances, et cetera. And there are certain systems in place to see whether or not your tax return has any kind of lien on it or will be taken, uh, has already been claimed by somebody. And let's just say those seven clients that I mentioned thus far did not qualify for any kind of advanced loan because it is showing a pending lien. And just guess what the pending lien is, okay? PPP fraud. So I know a lot of people thought like, oh, yeah, if, if they hadn't contacted you by now, you probably got away with it. Uh, absolutely not. They literally have up to 10 years to investigate and prosecute. OK, the statute of limitations is pretty cut and dry here. So and as we know, they are starting to really kick up their investigations. A lot of people released that there were 94 names listed on Jack in Jacksonville, Florida. And there's been a lot more. There's been a lot more individuals who have been mentioned as influencers and so forth who have taken money. So Tim may think it's not a very large amount of money, but he needs to actually show that those loans went to manage his business. And he would have taken out three if he had had an opportunity. He very openly admits in a video that he has since deleted, but it is still on the internet. It's still on YouTube. And I'll put the link down below so you can watch him. This good Christian man admitting to all the fraud and literally theft of American taxpayer money. With that being said, just Mom, be mindful. Too. If you were involved in any of that PPP loan mess, and you know you received a loan and you should not have received a loan and you uh, have received letters in reference to uh, paying it back, okay? Um, even those who have received forgiveness, you're not out of the woods yet because if you did things illegally, they can still come after you. They are snatching up these glorious tax returns that y'all love. Uh, Tam. How did you get your $5,800 that you assume that the U.S. government has no interest in, in, in getting back with a business that you didn't have any brick or, brick or mortar to? You literally went around selling oil change coupons door to door. So I'm curious as to knowing how are you going to justify that? And, and I guess if you don't have what you feel like is a permanent home address, they can't catch up with you. Hmm. Keep skirting around the laws, Tim, in my opinion, speculating here. Uh, to get every single year, when I say snatching them up, they snatching them up, okay? They not taking 25%, they taking the full 100%, and that is going towards the restitution that you will have to pay because you fraudulently took out that PPP loan during the pandemic. I just had to be the one to report it here. I'm pretty sure other people have already gotten wind of it. And also, for those who are walking around feeling like they will not be touched in any way, shape, or form, trust me, when they want you at the allotted time, they will, in fact, get you. It doesn't matter the amount of money. Fraud is all about the intent to deceive, okay? The intent to steal. So whether or not you paid it back, because I saw... A few comments in the past like, oh, well, what if you paid it back? It doesn't matter. It's the intent to defraud the federal government. And that is going to always be a problem. OK, so just a FYI, they snatching up tax returns. They slapping down wage garnishments. They getting that money any kind of way that they can. And if they can't get money from you in either of those ways, 
uh, just know you got bigger things and bigger issues coming, okay? Don't say I didn't tell you so. Again, public information, totally on Google. The internet is free. Look it up yourself. Get your affairs in order. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Okay. Thank you, Simple Doc T, for sharing that video. Let's go back to Tim talking about his uh, PPP loan. Um, and I, like I said, I will leave the link down below uh, for this young lady. And thank you for that information. I'm sure Sarah said to Tim, who probably watches all of us reaction channels, would find that information very useful. And he has a lot more potentially with the, uh, the uh, SBA, but let's hear him continue. We'll get to that another video, but let's just hear him continue talking about uh, the PPP. Who's more than that PPP money, the first payroll protection plan that was forgivable because that was just my, my little salary they kind of were trying to replace for me for a, a few months. But the EIDL was a loan that was a lot more money and it was to help businesses, you know, keep the machinery up, their, their rents and, um, you know, so they wouldn't have to go out of business. So I was reluctant to take it, but, but I had been watching a lot of YouTubers who made a lot of money on YouTube making channels talking about, uh, this is a jog road. I'm going to Lions Road. Uh, See, maybe you should have talked to a tax accountant or somebody other than some YouTubers because a lot of these folks have been arrested too <laughs> or getting themselves in trouble for this behavior. So, Tim, I don't think that was very wise. And he did understand that he left a chain of evidence. And we have it here. I mean, it's already been documented because they can see. So he might, you know, what business did you have? You went door to door selling oil change coupons. How did you have $5,800 to as, a, as an income replacement for you? You were, and then soon you took the unemployment, which you shouldn't have taken either. Because you were a gig, you had your, you were your own gig business. So you took unemployment illegally as well. It's just incredible. Anyway, I just wanted to, you know, let him finish out here. And then we're finishing out this video. Because you, Tim, the IRS is going to come looking for you. Uh, I hope you filed your taxes. About the uh, pandemic money that you could get. And so everybody was watching these, all the businesses, including myself, watching these channels that grew like crazy and hundreds of thousands of subscribers and hundreds of thousands of views making big money on YouTube. And a lot of those guys are still doing it, but they've gone into stocks and gold and they branched out, you know, they keep evolving. But during the pandemic, they had, it was all about, uh, remember the, uh, I got those too. We all got them, that uh, stimulus checks. Mm. So Yeah, I sent the stimulus checks back to the IRS to pay my business taxes during that time, Tim. So anyway, I just wanted to catch up with Tim. We're going to keep an eye and see uh, what happens. Uh, I'll leave the link down below if anybody wants to file anything uh, to the Small Business Administration about Tim and his potential uh, fraudulently taking I should say, stealing money from the American taxpayer, in my opinion. All right, guys. I want to thank everybody who is part of the Life and Vibe crew, the Good Life members, and, of course, our Best Vibes members, too. Without that support, I couldn't really keep this channel running. So I thank you guys for that very much. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, please do to comment, like. These are all things that help me as a creator keep the channel on, keep my lights going here. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.